I also personally had to go on the other side, knowing all the complications that can occur, preventable complications. I had to go through emergency open heart surgery a few months ago. And uh, that was quite a scary uh, event because you know what can happen. So nobody came near me without washing their hands. <laughs> nobody touched my central line without cleaning the hub. I got to the ICU and I didn't want to go into the bed. I wanted a recliner. Why? because I could get up from a recliner, in a bed you're sick and you're gonna stay there. Whereas in a recliner you're not sick. So I was up two hours later. I, Ari, I didn't get blood. I told them not unless I'm dying am I gonna get blood. Um, and uh, I came through it and I got out. They kicked me out in three days because I think they were tired of me not letting anybody give me a medication without scanning my barcode and letting me know what the medication was. I actually avoided opioids and came through it. It wasn't too bad. So it's possible to do it if you know. But even so, I was very aware that my risk was the weakest link in the program of anybody taking care of me. One person could fail to wash their hands. One person could fail to protect that central line and you're in trouble. So how do patients know this? 